Hey guys, it's Steph. Who else would it be? So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing another one of my full face of first impressions, which I freaking love doing, and you guys seem to really like it when I do these as well. If you're new here, hello, how are you? What's your name? What are you doing? Where'd you come from? I'm not gonna sing the Cotton Eye John, John uh, I'm not gonna sing the Cotton Eye Joe song again, because um, that was that was a thing for a little while, wasn't it? But yeah, I'm not gonna do that again right now. So yeah, if you are new here, if you don't know what a full face of first impressions video is, I mean, it pretty much, is what it says on the tin. I'm gonna be trying out a whole load of new makeup. I'm gonna be chucking it on my face and letting you guys know my thoughts. And um, that's about it. So uh, let's get into it. I really wanna use this again. I really thoroughly enjoyed my strawberry headband last time. So I'm gonna use it again. It's just one of those days, you know? Oh God, she is stunning. Who is she? Oh, it's me. Oh, oh, it's me. All right, so first up, I'm not gonna prime my skin today because I have a new foundation to try out. So I kind of wanna like leave my base like as it is and like use the products that I would normally use. So I've just moisturized my regular moisturizer today. I'm really, really excited because today I'm gonna to be trying out the Stay Naked Foundation from Urban Decay. You guys have been asking me to try this out for a really, really long time. I I tried it out about three or four weeks ago, I wanna say. You guys may remember I went on that little trip with Urban Decay for a few days and I got to try it then. So it's like, is this a first impressions? I'm kind of, like I haven't put it on myself yet. Someone else put it on me and I really, really liked it, but I haven't done it in like my own way yet. So, so yeah, today I'm gonna be trying out the Stay Naked Foundation for myself and I also have the Stay Naked Concealer as well. Very, very excited. Like this is the thing I'm most excited about for this video. Like Urban Decay Foundations are some of my all time favorites and this stuff like sounds really, really good. It says it is flexible breathable, real skin matte finish. That's the kind of matte finish I like. So it's medium buildable coverage. We like buildable coverage. I mean, it basically just says that it does like every single thing in the world. It's vegan. It minimizes the appearance of pores, waterproof. Like, is there anything this foundation can't do? Can it like apply itself to my face? So as you guys may have seen, this little guy up here just popped up, which means obviously I am working with Urban Decay for this part of the video. But as always, I'm gonna be completely honest, gonna be showing you guys close-ups, all of the above. Again, like I said, I have tried the set before and I do really, really like it, but that was just like a little sample size that they kind of color matched me for. Today though, today is the day we try this guy out. So I have two different shades that they color matched me to. I have 41NN and I have 51NN. Ooh, ooh! I hadn't seen the packaging before. All I'd seen was it in like little like, plastic tub things because it was such a new product. I like the packaging a lot. By the way, guys, there are 50 different shades of this foundation, which I think is sick. Okay, let me, let me have a little look. I feel like maybe this one. So that's that color. I think I might actually be able to go to five one NN. Yes, okay, yeah. That one there, we're gonna go in with that. So I'm just gonna take some on a beauty blender, I think, to start off with. Take a couple of pumps, pop that on my cheek. Yeah, that looks like a good color. So I'm just gonna pop that on my skin, just as I would normally. That's actually a spot on color really, like to blend down to my neck. It's not like obviously the perfect color for my face because my face is always a little bit lighter, but like for my body, that's actually like spot on there. Feels a very, very lightweight on my skin. Like I knew how it felt on my skin when I had it on originally, but like applying it yourself is kind of completely different because I can just see how like, thin it goes on almost. Yeah, that's really lightweight. But yeah, it literally does feel like so lightweight. I feel like I've just put on like a lightweight moisturizer or something, but the coverage is there. It's done a really good job of covering everything up without making it look like, it, it just, just looks like my skin. It literally does just look like my skin, but just way freaking better. Yeah, this looks really, really good. Let's do a little close up for you. So yeah, you can see that's how it's looking on my skin. It's just like really, really skin-like. And it's covered up everything, but you can still see like my little freckles and everything there. So now I'm gonna take the concealer. Now this I actually haven't tried. So I'm very, very excited for this. So this is a Stay Naked Concealer. It's the Correcting Concealer. I have one in the shade 30NN. I also have 40NN, which I'm gonna have a little look at. So 30 is obviously a bit lighter, 40 is a bit darker, but they both look like they'll work for me. And then I have this one here in the shade 60NN, which I feel like I could maybe use like a contour. I think I'm gonna start off with 40NN, which is like the slightly darker concealer that I said would work. That's a very odd doe foot. It's like very bent. You okay? It's like a little, it's a little seat. It's like a little tiny office chair. So I'm gonna take some of that under here. Oh, I quite like how that applied actually. Just like the way the doe foot like applied quite a bit. And I'm gonna blend that in under my eyes. Come on, let's see what coverage you got, baby. Oh, it's got coverage. Oh, okay, I was expecting it to be 
more of like a natural kind of coverage, but nope, that's coverage, baby. And I'm happy about it. Ha, you guys thought I was gonna do like a natural, like skin-like makeup look. Who are you trying to kid? Is that the right one? Yeah. Thought I was about to put the really dark one under my eyes and I was like, that would have been a mistake. I'm bringing it like up onto my cheeks as well. It's like a bit of a highlight. Okay, like even though I didn't actually put it on that spot, that has covered up that spot so well. This looks so good. Like, so good. Like the coverage of that concealer is really, really nice. The thing I'm gonna do is do my little usual thing where I take it like on the inner corner. Cause you guys know me in my inner corner. I like to have it like properly concealed. And I'm just gonna tap that in with my finger. I feel like I almost don't need bye bye under eye with this. And that's, that never happens. I always need bye bye under eye. Oh my God, I'm really enjoying how that looks. So that's it with the concealer, obviously not powdered down or anything, but like, what the hell? That has like, I know I look a little bit crazy right now considering I've got a strawberry on my head, but that looks really, really good. It's like moisturizing, it's hydrating, it's like skin-like, but you've still got coverage. I look like a strawberry. This, look, this looks really good. So now I'm gonna take 60NN, which I think will be too dark for me, but I think it'll be good for like a little contour maybe. Possibly, let's see. It might be a little bit too light for me for contour, but I'm willing to give it a go. Maybe like a natural kind of contour shade. Ooh, I thought that was gonna be too light then, but that's actually giving me like a really natural kind of contour. Um, yeah, massive fan of that. I think it looks stunning at the moment. Obviously I know I need to powder down and everything, but so far, very, very good. Very good so far. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and powder everything down with my Laura Mercier powder, just cause I don't have any powder to try or anything. And because I wanna see how this works with like my everyday products. I'm just gonna set all of that down. And then let's see how this is looking. I, okay, I'm gonna put the phone down for a minute. I genuinely might find a new favorite. If this lasts like how I think or how I'm hoping it's going to, this looks so good. Like this like, Barely any creasing around my nose, which is like one of my main problems. There's coverage. It's like brightened my face as well for like under my eyes. It works really well with powder. Like it doesn't look too matte or anything. Um, okay, I'm kind of obsessed with that. Like can you guys see like what I'm on about? It's like barely any creasing at all. I'm good and excited. So now I'm gonna move on to contour slash bronzer. And for that, I have something from Ofra. You guys may have seen in my PR haul. They sent me like, oh my God, so many products. Thank you so much, Ofra. Like, oh my God, just insane. And as you guys know, I love their highlighters. But today I thought I would try something that I've not tried from Ofra before, which is one of their bronzers. So this is the Bronzer Versatile Matte. Looks like this. Looks very nice. Looks like I need to peel this thing off the mirror, otherwise I can't see my face. Oh, peel porn, if I can get it. Yeah, how pigmented are you? Pigmented, but not too pigmented. Okay, that's good. So I'm just gonna start by contouring with this, I think, because I do have another bronzer to try, but I'm gonna see like what this one's like to start off with. It's like a nice subtle bronzer, like, and I like that, I do honestly prefer a slightly more subtle bronzer because it means that you're not gonna like go in and just fully go over the top. I like it when you just kind of have to build it up to achieve the look you want. That bronzer is so nice. I love it when I come across a really nice bronzer and this is like one of those ones that you can use for like contouring and bronzing. I'm not gonna use it for like properly bronzing because I do have something else I wanna try, but I could so easily use that like all over my face and it would work absolutely fine. So this, yeah, this gets a big thumbs up from me because I'm really happy with how this looks and I didn't have to work at it at all. All right, so next for another little bronzer, I have something from the drugstore. This is the Staycation Bronzer Palette from Barry M. It looks like this, but actually now looking at it, I'm thinking, is that gonna work? Because I feel like the Ofra one was actually a little bit more warm tone. So uh, good, good job there, Steph. But we'll try it. We will try it. Um, it's got kind of like a shimmery side to it. Slightly shimmery, yep, slightly shimmery. And then like a more cool tone side to it. Uh, okay, that's an interesting choice that I made there, but I'm gonna do it. I already said I would, so I'm gonna do it. So I'm just gonna take my Morphe E3 brush. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swell around. That was a lot of fallout there, but that that's fine. And I'm gonna pop some of this on my cheeks and we're gonna see. Does this smell nice? Oh, it smells like coconut, I think. 
I'm going to pop some of that like on the higher points of my face. I mean, it, look, it looks all right. It doesn't really look like much, but it doesn't look bad. So that's a plus from me. The shimmery shade isn't actually very shimmery at all, which is good. So I feel like I can just like swell my brush in there and just bronze myself up a touch. Yeah, that looks okay. I prefer the other one. I feel like the other one's a little bit more versatile, but that is still nice enough. I might even just take some of that like more cool tone shade and just do something here. See if it builds up as like a good contour. Okay, that, that cool tone shade actually works very, very well as a contour. That's actually not bad. I think I'm only like comparing it to the Ofra one, but the Ofra one is obviously a lot more expensive. That's actually quite nice. I'm losing the plastic there. Um, yeah, I do prefer the Ofra, but that is actually, yeah, still quite a nice bronzing palette. And you can obviously use like the contour and the more shimmery one or like swirl them two together. So yeah, that's actually, that's actually decent. So now I have a highlighter to try out. So excited. I swatched this in a recent video and I was like, wait, what the hell? This is the Bare Minerals Endless Glow Highlighter in the shade Free. Like, okay, so I used to work with Bare Minerals and Bare Minerals has always been very kind of like natural and everything. I was waiting for the day that they came out and brought out like a banging highlighter. And this kind of looks like this might, this might be the one. So I'll just show you again, just do a little swatch. Nothing crazy, just did a couple of swirls. And that happens here. Yeah. That. So I'm gonna take my Luxe Powder Fusion brush from Zoeva, give it a little swirl, no fallout. That's what we like to see. Like, look, I'm probably like going around, there's no fallout. And oh, please, please be good to me, Bare Minerals. I waited so long for that. Literally, when I worked at Bare Minerals, they had like no highlighters. There it is. I felt like that was worth the wait, Bare Minerals. I feel like that was worth the wait. Like, look at that. Look at that little, he's just, just chilling. Just chilling right there on my cheekbone. Whoa, I love it. Do you reckon I'll be like a 70 year old woman one day, like still applying highlights to my face? Ooh, it's so good. So now I have another product from Ofra. This is one of their blushes. Again, and not tried any of their blush products before. This is the pressed powder. Candy Apple, it's, it's just a blush. I don't know what it's called. It's just a blush. So that is what it looks like. It looks like a very nice kind of Steph color. I'm gonna do a couple of little taps and just add a touch to my cheeks. That is pretty. I don't like blush that much, but I like this one. Uh, that's gonna go straight to the front of my little blush drawer because I actually really, really enjoy that. It's kind of similar to NARS Orgasm, just a little bit less smush, just a little bit less shimmery. I'm a fan and I, I really like the over packaging by the way. I know it's like not a new thing that they've changed their packaging, but um, I've been using Rodeo Drive and like the old packaging for years. Much prefer the new stuff. Thank you very much. All right, so now let's do a little something with these brows. So I have a brand new product from NYX. It's called the Fill and Fluff um, Eyebrow Pomade Pencil. I've got two shades, um, chocolate and ash brown. Ash brown looks a little bit more like my cup of tea. Ooh, okay, so it just comes in like, just standard pencil form. This looks like, I can't remember what it's called. They had a product like this before. I don't even know if they still do it. Maybe it's kind of like a re, like a little rejig of an old product, but that is what it looks like. That actually looks very, very pigmented and looks like a really good color. Normally ash brown is like too light for me, but that looks really good. And this is the, oh my God, it's like a teeny tiny little like, oh my God, that's really, I really enjoy that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in a few little eyebrow hairs with this. Oh, let's use this thing. Oh, that's really quite satisfying. Just the way that feels. I don't know if it's doing much. It is blending it to be fair, but like the way that feels brushing through my brows, I feel like this is the brush that my brows deserve, you know? I feel like my brows have gone through a lot. We've stuck through literally thick and thin, but this just feels really, really nice brushing my brows through. Um, that's probably not the review you guys wanted, but it feels really nice to brush my brows with. I think my brows look pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I think my brows are looking pretty sweet. So um, I'm gonna blame all that on this guy. I'm a fan. So now from Maybelline, I have two of the Tattoo Brow Waterproof Gel Brow Gel things. I'm gonna use Black Brown. Ooh, I like the smell of it. And it's got like this just kind of like fuzzy. Oh my God, it's like making my brows Oh my God, this is giving me really fluffy brows and I am digging it. I love a good fluffy brow at the moment. Mmm, nice. I've not really heard anyone talk about this. 
I've seen like a few ads on Instagram and stuff, but I, I really like that. I'm always in the market for like a new tinted brow gel because I always run out of them and I always forget that I've run out of my favorites and I never buy a new one. But yeah, this could also be a new fave. I really like what that's done with my brows. It's like fully thickened them up, but also defined them, made them a little bit fluffy and it's a good color as well. So now from e.l.f. I'm gonna use a little setting spray that I picked up a while ago. This is called the Dewy Setting Mist. Apparently it's in the scent Coconut. I didn't even know it has a smell. Oh, very coconutty. Very, very coconutty. Okay, so obviously this is what the foundation looks like right now. I'm gonna give it a little spritz. Just soak it all in, baby. Soak it all in. Okay, so there are a few little like spatters on my face that like, the mist isn't like super, super fine. It's like 80% fine, 20% like a couple of little pfft, every so often. But looking at it, it does seem to dry down quite quickly and it doesn't seem to like leave any little like spatter marks on your face. Yeah, it has just kind of like just like blended into the skin quite evenly. I feel like my skin doesn't look that much different. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Looks slightly more dewy. I don't really think it looks that much different, but I mean, it's okay. It's like melted the powders into my skin a little bit more. Um, it, it's fine. It's not like blowing my mind, but it's, it's doing the job. So now I'm actually gonna move on to my lips first because I don't know what I'm gonna do with the eyes, but I really wanna try these out. Um, so these are the Sugar Pill Liquid Lips in the shade. I have Crumpet and I have Trifle. I think Crumpet is probably the one I'm gonna go for because I think it's a bit more nudie. Oh, maybe, mm, I don't know. What do you guys think? Now I'm actually thinking I might go for Trifle. I think I'm gonna go for Trifle, you know? So Trifle is a little bit more pinky. And then Crumpet seems to be a bit more nudie, but it is a lot darker. See, I think I'm gonna go for Trifle. I wonder if these have a smell, I can't remember. Oh my God, they do, they smell like cowpole. Ooh, that's a slightly different color than I usually go for. I just, I love a pink lip. I really do. I don't like a bright pink lip, but like this kind of like light, almost like a corally pink lip as well sometimes. I love. This feels really, really good. It's still like, still drying down, but it does dry down fairly quickly. It's a really thin formula though, which is interesting. I feel like I might even try a little bit of, um, whatever it was called, crumpet, and do a little like ombre. Those two mixed together make a really nice color. I've heard a lot about these, so it's nice to finally be able to try them and so far so good. So now for my eyes, I have another product from Barry M. I have a few of these palettes, but I've, again, I've not ever tried them. So I thought, why not just try them out in this video? So this is the Tropical Twist Baked Matte and Metallic Eyeshadow Palette. And it's got a bunch of like pinks, a bunch of like blues, greens. Okay, so a few little swatches. Ooh, these colors are calling my name. These two here. So I've got like a, oh, bloody hell. Bloody hell, that, whoa. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go in with this shade here, or am I? No, I'm not. Scrap that, I'm going in with this shade here. There's a, a bloody lot of kickback there, but we'll see like how it actually applies. All right, so it's there. It is definitely there. It's not the most pigmented shade in the world, but it is also a very kind of like parsley color. So it's not gonna be like crazy. I now think using the same brush, I'm actually gonna go in with this like yellowy shade here and blend that up slightly more towards my brow. I mean, they're not crazy pigmented. They are, they have pigment, but they're not like, I'd like them to be a bit more pigmented, but let's see how that freaking like, Icy purple is, because I am I really want to try that. I'm now going to take a different fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with this shade up here. Just give it a little wax, tap that off. Okay, that one seems a bit better. Yeah, that one's fine. Again, it's not like stupidly intense, but it's, it's done the job. Like you can see, like there's obviously like a gradient here on my eyes. It's just not, it's just not crazy. So now I'm going to try out this like lilac -y color here, which is what I'm like most excited about, to be honest. So I'm just taking a flat brush. Like, there looks to be a lot of pigment on the brush there, so I'm hoping it'll just like, I'm hoping the metallics are like where it's at with this palette. Come on. That will do. Yeah, that's what we were kind of waiting for, wasn't it? They're a tiny little bit dusty. I won't lie to you. But dusty in a sense that like, it just blows away. It's not like fallout dusty. 
I feel like these will work like really, really well on like the P. Louise base. And it seems to blend in really well as well. Like with the brown there, I'm literally just like tapping it in. Whoa, I suddenly look very, very pink. Got like, my little pinky lip, pinky bubbly eye, pink strawberry on my head. And then I'm actually gonna take that little pencil brush that I was using before again, and I'm gonna go in with this color here. This like super icy looking shade and really just build up my inner corner there. Might even just try blending that in a touch on the lid. And then normally I would do like a brown on my lower lash line, but I'm kind of feeling like this shade here. It's like, it's not overly pigmented, but it just kind of like ties it all together. And that's okay. The metallics are where it's at with this one. The mattes are, I would much rather have like a full palette of metallics because the metallics do seem really, really nice. Let's swatch like, let's swatch two more. Let's go in with this like goldy color. Yeah, see that's stunning. And then this like super minty shade there. Like look at those. That's actually a really nice combination for an eye look there. Like, see the metallics, like they're a bit dusty, they're a bit powdery, but the metallics, they do look really, really nice on the eyes. And I imagine if you put them with like, like I said, like a wet base or like a wet brush, or even just put them on with your finger. Why didn't I think of this before? Let's do finger. Oh, that looks really good. Okay, yeah, your finger is the way to do it. If you want like, a foil finish, your finger is the way to go. So now for mascara, I'm gonna take this one from Sleek. It is called the Take You High Lengthening and Defining Mascara. It's just in black. Oh, it's quite like feathery and just like nice and natural. But like my kind of natural. My kind of natural is probably like everyone else is like going out lash. But yeah, that looks just really like nice and feathery. Oh, I forgot I had this. This is the OPV Metal and Liquid Glitter Liner thing. I saw this and I have it in the shade Glistening Ray. It looks very, very similar to what I've got on my lids right now. So I thought I could like chuck a little bit on there, you know, just, just chuck a little bit on there. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a little bit and pop that on my lid. And then just like, just blend it out a touch. That's really, really pretty. Really nice. And they also have a blue one as well. I know I've got the blue one somewhere, which you guys know is gonna end up on my face sooner than later. All right, so now I have some lashes from Ardell. I love Ardell lashes. These are the Double Up False Eyelashes. Um, they're just like the double wispy. So I'm just gonna go off camera, chuck those on because I will just be here for hours otherwise trying to faff around. So I'm just gonna chuck those on and then I'll show you guys the finished look. I will remove my strawberry. And then that's about it. All right guys, so this is the finished look. Lashes on, I'm actually really obsessed with them. I know they're just like, they're like the wispy ones, but they're like doubles. Kind of think I prefer them to like the regular wispies. I'm really into them, might pick up some more. So it is now, let's have a little look, 12.21 in the afternoon, don't know if you can see that there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go about my day, do my usual kind of thing. Uh, I'm gonna run a few little errands, nothing major. We'll probably check back in, I wanna say like six, seven, eight hours, somewhere around then, like once I've like had some food or whatever. But yeah, like on first impressions, I'm obsessed with how this look has turned out. It's very pinky purpley, but I'm really into it. So yeah, I'm just gonna go about my day as usual and I will check back with you guys in a second and we'll see how this is looking. All right guys, so it is now just gone half seven. So I've had this on for around about seven hours or so. And this is literally like, I swear this is like the most long wearing like makeup look I think I've ever worn because I swear nothing has changed. The only thing that has changed is my liquid lip has slightly come off, but I've eaten quite a bit. I've had multiple cups of tea. Like the line is still there and it's actually faded quite nicely. It doesn't actually look like it's rubbed off or anything. I'd say maybe like, I mean, I was gonna say the highlight is like dulled down slightly, which I, I think it probably has, but it's still like way more intense than a lot of other highlighters that I've tried. The like glittery stuff is still on there. Brows are still going strong. They're like, I didn't say it before, but they're actually kind of like stiffened almost which it's good, I like that. So that's probably why they've actually stayed in the same place. The foundation and concealer looks great. Like literally it has not budged. It hasn't creased. Like there is there is no creasing at all. Normally even after just like wearing like a foundation for like 10 minutes, I will get loads of creasing around my mouth just cause that's what happens with me. But not with this stuff. It's bloody great. Yeah, like it literally tiniest, literally the tiniest, tiniest bit of creasing here. Other than that, that is it. Like that's literally the only thing I think I can point out about this entire makeup look. I'm really, really impressed. I was impressed before. I really liked the look before, but now I know that it can like withstand just like seven hours. Imagine what it would do like 
all day. Like if I was actually out and about for like 12 hours, if it looks like this after seven hours, like I can't wait to see what it looks like after 12 hours because this looks great. So yeah, I've got to say I am very, very, very freaking impressed. Like I, I think I liked everything that I tried today. Did I like everything? I mean, maybe, the only thing I maybe like wasn't as keen on, but it wasn't that I didn't like it was the e.l.f. setting spray. I just found it didn't really do all that much. But yeah, apart from that one thing, I think I literally like loved everything. So guys, let me know what you think of this makeup look in the comment section down below. Let me know how you think it wore. Let me know if you've tried out any of the products that I have featured today. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you. I did the you way too late then. You in the next one. Bye.